Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Dean Fell, and um, today's video we're going to catch up on the 2D drafting. I know last Friday the video was about Radan 2D and we created a drawing. Today we're going to add dimensioning to our drawing and we're going to add a title block. I know we were going to get into that last week but we um, didn't have the title block set up so stick around after this break and we'll get back into it. Thank you. Okay let's get started right so you can see I've got my drawing open here I've got my bend lines where I can take it up into a 3D file if I want to create a 3D file in here I want to be able to throw in some dimensions on this thing um, on this drawing sorry so when I come in here and put the dimensions on I'm just going to go up to utilities and I'm going to go dimension utilities and I'm going to do automatic dimensioning when I do automatic dimensioning it's going to pull up a few features here and we can put some information on and then we simply hit OK. It'll go ahead and dimension the drawing for me. Um, there'll be some other settings so you can change um, how you can view. You can see here it's given me the hole, the hole size diameters I'm using, the quantity of the hole, so these holes here, right? And then I've got a couple of holes over on this um, item A here. So I'm just going to set this here in my drawing right up there. Okay, so in my now, I have a drawing. I want to maybe send this out to the shop as a flat layout. I can come in here and we can go simply to cursor objects, right? Um, we can recall a symbol. So if I recall a symbol, um, you may have a symbol somewhere for your drawing. I've got one here on my PC. I just have to go and find it. So if we go in here, um, configuration, radian, and then in my system symbols, I have a symbol here for a border, all right, or a title block. So if I open this, I can come in and I can put that title block right there hit cancel the cursor object and it gets rid of the title block and you can see here's my scale one to one drawing units drawing number or name all right um, I have a symbol saved out like this but then the attributes in my files will be saved where it will pull in the part name then you can see I've got a drawing I can go ahead and I can print this drawing. So if I do a print, I can do a print and put the paper, hit OK. And I will save this as a PDF. So if we come in here, it should be Microsoft PDF, hit OK, and we'll save it on here. New drawing, save, yes. It'll overwrite the old one I had and create a PDF of it. OK. So that's how I create a drawing in here, right? So let me show you a different way because maybe I want to add some other views. I can come in here and we can simply go, I'm just going to undo what I just did, okay? I'm now going to go and hit the fold up from flat. It'll run through and it'll fold this up into a 3D file for me. We've successfully created a 3D upfold. I'll hit OK and then I'll jump over to RAID and 3D. Right, but make sure when you jump over into 3D, right, make sure you save your uh, file out. If you don't save it and you made some changes, that way you don't lose the changes. So I'm going to just say yes to that. Now you can see I've got my 3D file. Okay. I can rotate this. I've got a 3D model. We can, in Radan 3D, 
Um, we have Radan Designer that's out now, but in the Radan 3D, I can hit Scene Mode. So now that you've got that into Radan 3D, we can come in here, right? We're in modeling. We can come in here, we can get a press break, but we want to make a drawing. We can come into scenery or scene mode and I can come in here. I'm going to delete this elevation, delete this one, right? So I'm in scene mode here. I can create a drawing view from here. So we're going to go add, okay, view source and we're going to go um, third angle and we're going to go and click the a 3d one and add and then we're just going to simply hit apply and there you see we've got our side view and top view and there's our 3d drawing and then you can take that over into 2d CAD and you can start working on whoops start working on your CAD drawing here and maybe you want to snap in some dimensions right um, maybe let's go six here so we can see it. Oops. Right. And so you can snap those in, get your dimensions. Let's see here. So if we go off this point and this point. One, two. There we go. Right, and we can lay some dimensions in here. And on this one. Right, so you can start laying your dimensions in. You got your 3D drawing in there. Okay, so that's a little bit about the drawing. Um, and if we don't want to do that, you know, we can always just go back into part mode. We can open our file. So if I go to recent files, go to recent parts, okay, I can dimension it. So I've got the flat as well. And one, two, that way the guys out there know the stretch out of everything in here. And then we can fill in some dimensions, right? And then of course, back to here to go cursor objects and recall, and then we can grab our symbol and open. All right, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you um, like the channel or like the video and um, leave any questions, comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.